Hey, 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 good morning, good day, wherever you are watching this, uh, whenever you're watching this. We are in Dinosaur, Colorado. Just woke up in the Welcome Center here. There's a tiny little diner next door, and uh, we're going to go order some delicious small town diner breakfast, our favorite kind. The town is really small. There's uh, maybe 300 people or so um, in the last census, 2020. Um, not a lot of business in here. The town actually has a really cool, uh, really cool history. It was like the early 30s or so. Oil boom brought um, brought people in, and then with oil, it ebbs and flows, and so the town's kind of had a lot of people leave. And it actually was renamed to Dinosaur to take advantage of the fact that Dinosaur National Monument is just a short little drive away. So the town reinvented itself around the dinosaur identity, which we're going to check out. A little bit later, not today, because Lindsay's got horse racing to watch today. But we're going to check it out tomorrow. We're going to go do all of our dinosaur exploring. But right now, we're going to go eat some breakfast. Yum. Well, we just made a mistake. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> because I know what you're talking about. Yeah, we just went into the um, visitor center here. Yeah. And the guy there is really nice. We never go into visitor centers because it's usually just brochures about all the ways to spend money on things that we don't usually spend money right. on. Right. But this guy was that works there was super informative. His name is David. And then told us that tomorrow is the, uh, I don't even know what you call it. They basically run the horses through Maybell. Which is about 50 minutes away. In the wrong direction. Well, in the opposite direction where we were going to go. But you just heard Lindsay say horse. And when she says run the horses, there's about 700 horses they bring right through the center of town. We camped here a couple years ago. We went out and saw the wild horses. So these aren't wild horses, but... Um, it's in the same area. And but it's an annual thing and they haven't done it in two years because of COVID. And, and we just happen and to be... And we're right in the area. So, I mean, what do you do, right? There's a county park. We parked there, <laughs> uh, was it four years ago, three yeah. years ago? Four years. Four years ago. And uh, it's right in the middle of town. So if we can get there tonight, after Lindsay gets done with all of her horse racing today, if we can get a spot there tonight, it'll be magical because we'll wake up and it's then a horse you're, just gonna hear, weekend. you're just going to hear click, 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 times 700, cool. 700 horses times four clicks per horse. That's a lot of click clicks mm -hmm. running through the streets. <laughs> so we think we're going to do that. And then we think we're going to do dinosaurs still. Because it's on the way out. Well, it's not. We'll have to backtrack. Mm, well. But, but I mean, anytime Lindsay can get horses, we try to do horses. And you know that if you've been following us long enough. If you're just joining us, Lindsay is horse obsessed. And uh, I gave her the option. Either you can have a horse or you can live in this RV. And it was very tough. She had to actually put down her horse no, uh, to buy this RV. No, don't say that. No. Stitch got donated to the children's ranch. Lindsay had a horse before we started this life. <laughs> and she donated to the boys ranch, boys and girls ranch where we lived and worked and raised eight kids at a time, 24 in a two-year period. And uh, so, yeah, that's as close to owning more horse as you'll ever be. I tell the host, you past. say it'll never happen again? Yeah. You can't <laughs> fit a horse in here. We can barely fit two of us you in the pull dog. a horse trailer. Okay. <laughs> People do it. So the visitor center was awesome. David helped us out. He's amazing. Got so much, like, I'd want to spend two weeks here now based on the information yeah, he told us. he told us so many cool places to go. Good drives, good hikes, good things to see that people don't know to see, and that's why you stop in visitor center. I might start stopping in visitor center more often. Yeah. I just don't know if we're going to get more Davids, because, I mean... Yeah, I know. He was like, you look like you don't travel on the beaten path that much. Like, let me show you some of these really cool places off the beaten path. So, long story short, we made a mistake. <laughs> Plans just changed, and I just <laughs> routed us out this morning. I was like, all right, I got it all figured out. Calculated the gas we're going to spend getting from one place to the next, and then uh, that all just changed. Yep. Called to wander, not called to arrive. That's how it goes. And Lindsay's got some horse race watching to do. Horse do. watching race, horse race watching. She's going to watch some horse races. I'm going to get back to work. What's going on? 
came by here in the walkover. It's Kentucky Derby Day. It's the post parade. The horses are warming up and getting ready to go in the gate. Cyan. Who's going to win? No idea. It is wide open this year. But uh, Holly, the best horse in the race, I think, is Epicenter. Most talented horse, I think, is Taba, but he's super lightly raced. And I don't know. The track's been playing. It's been uh, closers have been winning today. I think there was only one horse that won on the lead, and that was in a sprint. And so I don't know. I think a mid pack horse is going to win. We'll see. Zanon's another good horse. Wide open. There's no clear favorite this year. A long shot of the race, Rick Strike, who drew in, will be the last one to load here. The others are standing well in the starting gate. Rick Strike is coming up to that outside stall right now. Going in. No, oh gosh, it's a freaking line. huge field. Ready for the start. 21. Right, 20. 20 was scratched, and they don't they don't put them in that same stall. They put them in the next thing. They also they have one long gate now. They used to have two but gates. It's Jenna more fair. To be being banged out of the starting gate here. Wow. He's after Nick again. He's a long shot. They're taking a look at Happy Jack back behind the gate again. He was the one that was a little restless in line. He's gone back in now. Once again, we're ready for a start. They're off. Zan and up. No, Zan got pushed back. Messier is away running with speed. Crown trying to the outside. Epicenter's going to be taken back a bit. Down toward the inside is Tapa goes up outside of Charges outside. And farther out and close to the inside. Tapa's in a good spot. But he's still in his head up. He's in Dubai. He's from Dubai. He's from Dubai. And then it's Taba, charge it behind them. Epicenter Is finds itself in mid back here. Seven? Pinder, Benita, smile happy next, and then send it no, to the inside of Guaida Mario. Lance and Causeway is after that. They're followed by Tawny Port. As they head to the back stretch, simplification is next. Then Snow comes Tiz right the Bomb. Rich Strike, O'Donagal to the inside. And they're 45 for a half mile. Woo! It's going to be a closer. That's fast. Whoa, That's really fast. <laughs> That's, yeah. For summer and tomorrow, who heads up the back stretch in front? Ooh. With Japan's crown pride right alongside, and Messier goes up in between those two. I don't know if Epicenter the can run off the pace. Zozos is next after three quarters in one minute, ten and four minutes seconds, and now Epicenter wow. comes splitting horses and is moving up quickly as Crown Pride takes Where the leader on the far turn. It is Crown, crown Pride, pride the Japan, the Japan horse. Stride for stride. Epicenter and Zozos wow. behind them. He's running a huge race. Holy moly. Messier's got the lead. At the center. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I, <laughs> that's so cool. Zandon's running him down on the outside. It's going to be head to head. Look at this. Wow. Oh my gosh. Hold on at the center. Hold on. No. Japanese one. What? Wow. Who was that? That was Rick Strike. That was Rick Strike, the freaking longest shot on the board. The last one. The last the one. He got in because Luke scratch. is scratched. You gotta be freaking kidding me. He ran Somebody made a lot of money. Holy. Oh my gosh, another huge long shot. That was like, um, gosh, what's the horse? That was 50 to 1. 202. Wow. What? That is insane. He ran down the two best horses in the field. He's only won a maiden race. 80 to 1. <laughs> That's insane. Holy cow. I told you it was going to be a closer. Mind that bird was 50 to 1. He was the last huge long shot, and he ran up the rail. Just like that. Wow. Won't be triple crown this year. No. Oh, no. He won't. He won't do any. I mean, I hate to say that. But it was set up perfectly for him. 
there. Freaking right. jockeys never run in the derby. This jockey's what never ridden. He's like the youngest right. jockey. When and he just wins the derby. On the 80 to 1. They weren't going to enter. His quote was. Well, now that the Kentucky Derby is done, and that was fun, that was exciting. Always great when an 80 to 1 long shot wins. Um, we're going to go do our 80 to 1 long shot drive to Maybell. Yeah. Maybell. Got our camp spot all set up, and uh, hopefully when we get there, nobody's in our spot. We're going to go check it out. It's uh, just an hour drive or so to get there, and then uh, we're set up, and we'll keep in the horse theme. I thought we were going to have a dinosaur theme and dinosaur, and it's turned into a horse, horse theme. theme. From being here to watch horse racing, where we had the ability to watch it using our T-Mobile, what's it called? T-Mobile Home Internet. T-Mobile Home Internet. Yeah, we have Streamed that. it great. Yeah, perfect, no problem. Um, even though we're not in our home, I mean, we are in our home, um, but it's worked well. We'll have a video on that and we'll tell you more about that, but it's been awesome to take with us here in the United States since we've come back from Baja. Awesome internet, pretty much everywhere we've gone. Definitely everywhere we've gone, we've had T-Mobile service, which has been a lot of places. So now we're gonna head to Maybell and we're gonna go see some horses tomorrow, which I'm actually kind of excited about. 700 is a big number. That's a lot, it's more people. There's more horses in that town than there are people. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> that's Colorado for you. Yeah. That's Northwestern Colorado for you. All right, we're gonna hit the road. Well, after a short little drive where we saw raindrops on the windshield, we haven't seen rain in over nine months since we left Florida, so it's been crazy. Um, but we got here, it's cold, it's rainy, the dogs are excited about being outside. The drive is absolutely beautiful. It's only about 50 minutes um, from Dinosaur, and we're gonna be backtracking later on. Um, so maybe we'll get to see that drive again. But it's absolutely stunning, um, beautiful. Everything's green right now. They got a lot of snow this winter, um, but everything's green. The mountains are more like hilly, easy to drive through, but absolutely beautiful. And this town is a small town. Tiny little one room post office, um, a modular for a library, a one room schoolhouse. Uh, but we're here at the the uh, city park, and they've got the they're getting ready to have uh, the big deal tomorrow. I mean, they got the inflatables uh, for the kids to play on, and um, they've got bleachers for everybody to sit on, and be bringing the horses right down the middle of the street. So we're excited. I don't know. Is Lindsay excited? Yes. <laughs> so excited. She's taking a crap out there. Huckleberry. No. And we have some potential horse news that we're not going to spoil yet. But if we have a horse theme going on right now, we are super excited about it. And we'll let you know how that plays out, if it plays out in our favor. If not, we'll probably uh, cry quietly uh, in our hearts because it's a pretty cool opportunity if it works out. This is Morning in Maybell. Look out, dog. Thank you. take care of the dogs in the morning routine and then we're gonna go hang out for the day.
Well, that was pretty cool. I don't know how far they're uh, driving them down, but they're, they're, they kept on going. Took a little break over here and then they're moving on. <laughs> what was your one favorite horse? My one, there was too many. <laughs> too many favorites. Wrangler position at Bull Hill Guest Ranch. Lindsay, we still have two positions open for our 2022 summer season. Both positions start immediately. One opening is for a full season made through October and the second is available to a student made through August, which would be me. We provide a room to each of our Wranglers and all food and drinks are included. We would not have a position available for your husband. Most of our Wranglers live on site in shared housing and we unfortunately do not have RV hookups at the ranch. I don't know if this would be the right fit, only because we do not have a place for an RV and we cannot offer couples housing at this time. I wish you luck on your shirts. It sounds like a lovely, lovely journey. Happy trails. So a little disappointing news for now. We'll see what happens with the follow up. And um, yeah, we, we're not gonna force it. We don't believe in forcing things like this. We believe God is going to open the door, or close the door, and we'll go wherever the other doors open, All right? So sticking with the horse theme, why don't we go find some wild horses? Yeah, Kentucky yeah. Derby yesterday. We got the horse drive this morning. We're gonna go see some wild horses, hopefully, and drive out there. There's no promise or guarantee that they're gonna be there, right? Nope. How many are out there? I don't know the exact number, but 479 are rounded up last year, which was quite a big chunk. Yeah. So, yeah. And they're usually around water, and there's one place on water. So we're gonna drive out. We'll show you, of course. Um, but it's paved road out to a certain point and then we go off road yeah. and this is not the off road mobile to go do I think it last time we calculated it was like a 40 or 50 mile loop It's a big and, loop And we're not going to do that But we'll go maybe 5 or 10 miles and see what we see And if we see horses, you'll see horses If we don't see horses, you just saw horses Saw horses And, saw horses, yeah. and I can go and throw some b-roll in here and you can see horses again Seahorse? Like the, in the water and sawhorse like the cutting yeah that's such a cool like how did that how did that happen the past tense and the anyway we're gonna go see if we can see 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 saw saw see saw see by the by the seashore we're gonna go see, see some mustangs see, she sells seahorses by the seashore something like that you know i don't have a clue what's going on i'm just a driver so we are out here in 2018 almost around the same time as we are here now and um, there was no one here. There may have been one RV or two RVs in one area, and we saw quite a few horses. We didn't have to go very far in. Well, we're here now, and it is full. I mean, full to the brim of RVers with ATVs and dirt bikes, and they're hauling butt around everywhere. They've made tracks, they have signs up. It's like an extreme. Would, sport day weekend or something I wouldn't even call them and uh, there's there's no wild horses they're they're not gonna be anywhere anywhere around here um, because of this so we are yeah, trying water right over there too, where they yeah it. there is a watering hole but there's people surrounding it and there's there's no way horses are even gonna go try to drink out of it because of all these people here so that means we are going to turn around and leave Try. Unfortunately, there's uh, a lot of green grass here and the horses can't enjoy it. Yeah, the horses would love it. But, I mean, this is a known ATV area, so... <clears throat> well, the horses were here first. Yeah. But, yeah. like all things, God bless man first, God bless American first. I am an American, I am grateful for that, but my goodness, do we exploit things. That we do. Guess there's always another year to come back. 
We are back in Dinosaur, parked at the Dinosaur Welcome Center. And uh, we're not going to the Dinosaur Center today. It's closed. It's Sunday evening. We are going to be hanging out here tonight and get up pretty early in the morning. We're going to go find some real dinosaurs. What do you say about that? Yeah. What's your favorite fun. kind of dinosaur? I don't have a favorite. Can I have a favorite dinosaur? Everybody's got a favorite no. dinosaur. Ducky. Ducky, what kind? Ducky's my favorite. Ducky, land before time. Yes. What, what kind of a dinosaur is Ducky? I remember. She was the water one. What, yeah. she? <laughs> she liked to swim. Not Petrie? No, no, not Petrie. Little pterodactyl? No. No. I like baby pterodactyls. We're going to go find a baby pterodactyl and a Ducky, whatever she was. <laughs> um, but we're going to do that tomorrow morning. Right now we're going to chill out. We're over the horses, so we're going to transition into dinosaur mode. Got to take a like a, a good nap for that and a, a good night's sleep. Wake up and flip the switch and be ready for dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Everybody loves dinosaurs. <laughs>